and I pretty much got scammed, which obviously I knew at that point. That's exactly what happened. My son and I were coming home, pulled out my garage door opener, and there was a power outage. We needed to get inside nonetheless. And so I immediately got on my phone and started to look on the internet for locksmiths. You know, when you're in a bind like that and you're in a rush, you're not really looking deep down into the details. The locksmith, <laughs> he got to the door, the front door, and said that he was unable to change out the lock. And he said he, was, he didn't have the tools, and so the only option that he had was to destroy the lock in order to get me inside. I was pretty desperate at that point, and so he, took a drill and drilled a hole into the, the lock and then charged me $253. So at that point, because we were in a rush, so I paid him, got my son to his camping trip. At that point, I had time to really do some research. I saw Lang's locks and I was pretty much impressed by the reviews that I saw on the site. And so he came out, so not only did he change my lock, but he gave me a better lock system, a lot less expensive than what I was charged earlier. Having a locksmith that you can trust and can call immediately you need to have a locksmith just as much as you need a doctor or anything else um, because it's the security of your home. So now, after going through that experience, I keep Lang's locks in my phone now. It's good to know a locksmith before you need a locksmith.